I got this really neat little racing panel from uh, China and this it's got a, le a red switch and this it's used for the water pump this switch right here is used for the voltmeter and I would suggest that you get a sim uh, cylinder head temp for $15 and one of these for $12 and put them on your bike because you may have an oil problem or you may have a water leak that you don't know about and the temperature will go soaring up into uh, 350 degrees where you melt your piston and that gauge can save you a whole rebuild I'm not sure if I'm going to put on new side panels or not this year. It just depends. It depends how busy I am. But I just want to say to all my friends out on out YouTube that have watched me build this, it's April and I've got my TT shirt on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. And I have my red Honda racing gloves. And it's got some dust on her. She isn't, she isn't exactly perfect just yet. This hole right here is something that I have for, uh, I have a, uh, a choke on the carburetor. It comes up under the seat and it's a really cool stage six switch. Right now, all I have is a little wire deal. Oh, and then the clutch, this clutch, I got this Polini clamshell clutch is absolutely the best clutch I have ever used in my life it's smooth it works perfect it, it, it it's worth 140 bucks I paid for it all right now I'm gonna go and side here and look at my other bikes I mean, I'm, I can't ask for anything better. The sun's shining. Um, this is my other shop where I keep things. My little uh, gyro is working good. All it was was a spark plug problem on her. I love riding my little gyro. I have to um, adjust the carburetor the carburetor is really important to when it goes into high and low gear I don't know why but it just is on this model and then of course this year I've got to take out my my slower bike that I just bought 2010 so we got 3,000 miles on it I got lucked out and a guy bought it for his wife tricked the whole damn thing out with everything he could trick out on it and she didn't want it so they went in and traded in for a four-wheeler. Well, I got the bike, plus I got a whole new set of plastics, a whole bunch of other stuff, and so it's gonna be fun. And then here are my uh, red Honda racing gloves. I wish I would've got two of these from Bike Bandit when I had the chance. These are just, these really let people see that you're um, a professional rider. This here, is my little stage six thing I was telling you about. Some of this stage six stuff I bought in Canada, they have some really good high quality stuff. This is stage six right there. I bought this. I bought this racing throttle, which really works well. I have videos on how to put in this $100 throttle. And I would suggest anyone to do it. Because it's really, it's all chrome. It's got all kinds of buttons and whistles on it. And this is the turn signal switch that came with it. It works. But this, for the choke right here, the stage six, is you take off all the covers and you put this end in here, like that. And then this has a, um, uh, uh, a really neat nut system that works just perfect that makes it look good too 
and then naturally if I'm out cruising I have to have my Superman emblem anyway for all uh, my friends out there have been watching while this old man tries to build a bike I really appreciate it and look at that look at that motor underneath there look at that look at that look, look at that aluminum I mean that thing is just it's working great it's all salt stroked out and I, I'll have to take take the bike apart and I just I just check and make sure that everything's tight because more than once I've had to walk home a mile where something got loose and the belt didn't work right or I lost water or some kind of you know bullshit deal but it's a nice day out my bikes all work the world's good and Thank you so much, Steve Rantries, and all you Hawaiians for the advice you've given this old Hallie. Aloha. Uh, I forget the rest of it. Okay, anyway, thank you.